wanted to find out what exactly happens to us while we're sleeping. For three years, I operated four infrared cameras and four digital audio recorders and kept a sleep journal. Here now, I present for you the fairy incident. Every night when I'm going to bed, orbs begin to pour out of my mirror and fill up the bedroom. Soon there are hundreds of them all over the bathroom and the bedroom. They call themselves the visitors. I get a wide variety of orbs of all different shapes and sizes, and when I came upon this one, I thought it just looked like an insect, maybe like a dragonfly. But then what bothered me was that it was too bright, and it almost looked like a Disney animation. Here's a dragonfly filmed in similar infrared light. They do not reflect that infrared light. I use different filters to help us see things a little bit better and taking away the filter from this one you can see how bright that object really is. Let's start at the beginning and track this guy. He starts out small and quite fast. Although I see him in many different sizes, I can't say if it's the same one every time. Here he suddenly appears in view, and this is important when trying to determine if something is paranormal. If he just comes out of thin air, or maybe through the ceiling or a wall, then that helps us determine that it's paranormal. The DVR is programmed for motion detection with a three second pre-roll. That way we'll see the object enter into the frame rather than just suddenly appear in the frame. Notice that the clock had skipped a full minute as he suddenly appeared. I looked at the pre-roll and realized there was no recorded pre-roll. But I've got countless examples of orbs appearing and disappearing. We do have to keep in mind that the entities sometimes interfere with the recordings. We see right about the time that the entity came into the room on the other camera, this camera on me stopped recording. This frequently happens and I think it's paranormal because the camera pausing on record never happens at other times, only when I'm in the room. In this frame, he pops right into view, but it doesn't quite look like the fairy until we follow him onto the other camera. He pops in and out about 32 times this one evening. I've never found him on any other night. He changes shape constantly. Let's compare him to a dragonfly, about the closest thing I can find. Sometimes it looks like he has antenna. Other times he goes from two wings to four wings, and quite frankly it looks like it's a corkscrew type of flight. In regards to motion blur, these cameras are 1080N or native, which means they don't scan like in an interlaced mode or progressively. It actually pushes the entire picture at once, which reduces motion blur. Notice how bright it is off on the side in the dark areas. It seems to be producing its own light, but I cannot tell if this is visible light or if it's infrared light. Notice how we can see the light shining on the pillows as it moves into the room. This thing is generating its own light. So another test for paranormal would be, does this object go through other solid objects? And the closest I could find was blankets. In a couple of spots here, it looks like he's going through the blanket.
here he gets smaller and smaller until he disappears or goes through the door. This is not the behavior of a normal insect. Compared to the orbs coming out of the mirror, this thing is moving very differently. Why is that? Well, perhaps once it came into this dimension, it's forced to comply with the physics principles of this dimension. So like the Ingenuity copter on Mars, it's trying to fly. Another possibility is that it is intentionally imitating another creature. Insects and animals in our dimension do this all the time. Here's a caterpillar pretending to be a snake. But my sense of it is that these are two completely different objectives. The orbs are transport mechanisms or vehicles for the spirit entities to come into this dimension and once they're here they don't need it anymore. But the other one is an actual entity flittering around in the room for what purpose, I don't know. To summarize the evidence, the entity suddenly appears and disappears and it has unique flight characteristics. It is a shapeshifter changing all the time. It generates its own light as seen shining on the pillows. It goes through the blanket. It never appears in the bathroom with the orbs and there are no sounds associated with it such as when orbs go by cameras. There are two kinds of investigations the paranormal entertainment and ghost hunter type shows, and genuine psychical research. I'm a member of the Society for Psychical Research in London. I try to present things as scientifically as possible, but I have to tell you, it can be quite terrifying. Listen to what typically happens during a night here. As I'm getting ready for bed, lights usually flash. Sometimes in response to what I'm saying, I can see orbs coming in on my infrared cameras and I hear knocks.
Here are a few EVPs. The first one is one of many about visitors. And finally, I've discovered that this is happening to everybody, everybody, including you. Take a look at this pastor. The first thing I'm thinking about, whoa, what is this? Pastor Monzel Ford says as he was sleeping one night last week, his home surveillance camera motion detector kept going off. So from bed, he pulled out his phone and looked at the living room. This orb, this imagery just hovering in my living room. No one else was there. It wasn't a flashlight or passing headlights. And Pastor Ford thinks it was too big to be a dust particle. He walked into the living room watching the live feed on his phone. But when I went out there, I couldn't physically see what I'm looking at in the live feed. So now I'm like, whoa. The orb came and went for hours, at one point splitting into several shapes. That's when I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Something's going on here. Something's going on here. Pastor Ford has been haunted by some of the things he's seen as police chaplain and while working his own street ministry. But nothing has spooked him quite like this. If it's physical, I can stand it, I can challenge it, I can approach it, I can deal with it. But when we talk about things that's just floating and disappearing. This man of faith says the odd occurrence has certainly led to a lot of spirited debate. But so far, he has no certain explanation. And this is so common, yet disappointing. A man of faith doesn't understand actual spirit activity. A lot of people share with me their experiences, and I'm convinced that everyone watching this video has spirits standing over them and doing things while they're sleeping. Everybody. You can find out for yourself. Simply use the Sleep Recorder app for about a week. I'd even be willing to help you edit your recordings.